Hello guys, welcome to the first session of our first course in AWS Automation Series. So in this session, we are going to discuss about what was there prior to AWS. Here, AWS is the representation of cloud computing as AWS is one of the major player in cloud computing space. So instead of keeping the name prior to cloud computing, I have kept it as prior to AWS for this topic. Because in this journey, we are going to learn about AWS. So we will talk only about AWS. So let's jump into the diagram and then we will start our discussion. Prior to AWS, system administrator often used to talk about servers as a whole unit and that is called data center that includes the hardware the operating system the storage and the application servers and the application servers are often referred to by their function that is like exchange server the sql server the file server and if you look into this image then you will find that how this servers is being organized so these servers are organized in on rack spaces so you can imagine that if something went wrong then it is really very painful task or cumbersome task for system administrator to identify the problem and rectify it and in case of hardware failure the system administrator must add a new server so you can imagine that if any company wants to have a fault tolerant infrastructure in place so fault tolerant means if anything goes wrong on the server then other server can easily take place the role of that particular server so you can imagine that how difficult and how tough it was to design a fault tolerant infrastructure for system administrator to design such infrastructure for fault tolerant system administrator can implement cluster of servers to make them more fault tolerant however even clusters have limits on their scalability and not all applications work in a clustered environment and we all know that everything comes with a cost along with the cost of maintenance so to save from these hardware and maintenance cost the virtual server came into place virtual server concept separates the server software away from the hardware this includes the operating system the applications and the storage for that server with such innovation server is now become just file stored on a physical box instead of physical hardware so now you must be asking me okay okay so i understand that how physical server is being replaced by virtual server or say how virtual server taken place of physical server but why do we use cloud computing why do we use aws so to answer your question i want to quote an example and with an example i want to make you understand suppose you are a cnn.com and cnn servers operation hour are 9 am till 5 pm in a day then why you spend resources on the server during night when it is not actually used if CNN hosts their server themselves, then why leaving it idle during its non-operational hours? So the better solution to host it at cloud. Then AWS comes into picture. We will host the website in Amazon's EC2. EC2 refers as Elastic Compute Cloud, which I am going to discuss in upcoming session. For a time being, just consider it as a virtual server where we can host our website. So if we are hosting our website on EC2, then we will provision new servers every day and deprovision them every night by paying just 0.1 cent per server per hour or might be little more for higher capacity servers and we don't need to worry about the hardware let's amazon worry about the hardware cloud computing takes virtualization one step ahead so now i hope you understand that why we use cloud computing and aws because it is really very cost effective and whenever we want we can use that server and we can pay by usage and whenever we don't want we can deprovision it let's have some more discussion on cloud computing so that you will be more comfortable with the jargon called cloud computing so so far we have discussed about how physical server is migrated to virtual server now in this cloud computing era cloud computing takes virtualization one step ahead where virtualization provides the app ability to run multiple operating system on a single physical system and share the underlying hardware resources and with the power of cloud computing it provides the ability to provision the services in a timely manner or say whenever we want it on demand manner we can allow them to scale up and scale down of resources whenever it needed we just need to provide the configuration AWS can take care of scaling up and scaling down of your server 
as per your configuration. In the upcoming session, I am going to design a project where I will show you the same capability that is high availability and fault tolerant infrastructure within AWS. That is going to be a very fun exercise. So with this note, I am just stopping here. There are various things coming in our upcoming session. So stay tuned and see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Take care.